One of the really cool things about the farm is that the river Stincher runs all the way through the middle of it. If what we're going to do now is we're going to have a look at some of the plants, hopefully some birds, and if we're really lucky, some mammals that we might find along here. Come on! The Stincher is sleepily passing by the farm at the moment. Can you see it go? Just seen a dipper. I'm gonna try and get a bit closer for you. He dance. This is the dipper doing his little dance. This is my very favourite bird of them all, the dipper. They're the most amazing wee birds. They live and dance beside the river and make their nests there. He looks to have something in his beak just now, possibly for lining his nest with. Amazing. up a bit from where I am just now, I have spotted a sandpiper. They're very similar to the dippers that we've just seen earlier. They dance in the same way, they have a similar habitat, similar diet, and they're also one of my very favourite birds. Uh, I want to take you there now and see if we can get a bit closer so you can get a good look at them. Let's go! Such a happy little bird. My favourite. Can you see him dancing? Beautiful. So I've brought you to a, what looks like a small puddle but is actually a ditch that runs right down the middle of the field and it's absolutely teeming with wildlife so I want to show you uh, what's inside and you can have a, a look for yourselves. Let's go. So in this small pool we have what's known as a stickleback and sticklebacks are exceptionally cool. The males build a sort of underwater nest to attract mates. Also, they don't have scales like normal fish. In fact, they have a sort of armoured plate. They're carnivorous which means they eat uh, meat like tadpoles or other small fish. And they're hugely aggressive in protecting their own wee nests and areas. Amazing. Do you see the wee creatures on top of the water? Do you 
see all the tiny little fish. Do you see the holes in the banking opposite me just now? They are the homes of the sand martins. A tiny little bird that when it flies out of its burrow, skims the top of the river. Amazing. These catkins look a little bit like hairy ubits. So fluffy. I had a granny blackie and her name was Veronica. And that's the same name that's given to these little flowers that line the river banks just now. Her eyes were almost the same colour of blue as the little flowers here. There are lots of pretty flowers lining the banks of the river at the moment. This log pile next to the river is a brilliant habitat for all sorts of bugs. The daffodils nod proudly to the river as it passes them. This is a particular favourite of mine. So pretty. Who do you think has left these ball prints? The black and white birds on the bank opposite are oyster catchers who have come inland to nest. They lay their eggs on the gravel or stones where they're nice and camouflaged. Do you see them flying off there?